All right, guys, doing a little uh, video on compression. Uh, this uh, this saw here is a MS290, and as you can see, it, it hasn't even been cleaned. Yet you can see how clean it is. The top is immaculate. Uh, looks like it's not even been ran. But this is a saw of a customer who brought it in. Still, the dealer told them that it was going to cost $500, of course, and they were trying to put the uh, the customer in a uh, MS290. Uh, MS 291 to sort of you know uh, make up or whatever for the uh, the saw but um, so if you're having if you think you're having compression problems uh, the first thing you want to do is try the uh, the drop method which I've already taken the cylinder off so I can't do it but uh, this particular saw you would pull it up by the starter string and it would just fall to the floor even worse than if it didn't even have a spark plug in it I mean it just it just fell and so that's one of the first things you want to look at is you, you pull the pull start and if, it, if that happens then you got low compression so you need to go start going through the the things to, to look at so some of the things to look at is the spark plug uh, is it in the cylinder uh, is the spark plug gap or, or the spark plug uh, hole stripped uh, this is a, a very nice cylinder uh, no spark plug stripping here um, very clean inside I don't know if you can see that very clean inside and the cylinder uh, get you guys a look at that cylinder look how clean that cylinder is no no scoring the top is very dirty uh, and it needs to be clean we'll clean that up but even the back you know no scoring uh, it's got it's got water on it so it's, it might look like it's got some scoring but it's just got water um because it's sprinkling out here but the cylinders look very good the piston looks good very good so when you pull the muffler and you see that you've got a very good chance that you're in you're in the good and as you can see i've already taken the rings off and that was what the problem was it was not the cylinder was not the piston uh, this one does not have a, a, a de uh, decompression valve so it was not that it was the rings and so they again still told them it was going to be five hundred dollars some debris got in there uh, piston and cylinder were toast well you can see it's not and so here is the rings now i don't know if you can see that on this camera but so it, it be, it's going to be sitting like this. Uh, both of the, I don't know if you can see this, but both of the um, pins here are on the top. So when you're setting your, replacing your rings, it's going to be sitting like this. Right? And you can see right here how much thinner this is than this side. And you can get your calipers out and measure as well. But on this, you don't even need to. You can already see that this side's worn and this side is not. Same thing with this ring. This ring is even worse right here. It, it's barely even there. So let me look. Here, here is the new ring. See how wide that is? And wide by wide, I mean thick this way. You can put this on here and you can you can see the <laughs> the extra how much is missing and so when this is going in the cylinder this is going all the way in and compression is getting past the ring because this is buried within the holders here and so upon further study I can see that there's this this mark here there's some kind of hard debris that may have got through, but through time, it's worn these rings. That, that's probably the top here. It's worn these rings to thin, to, to nothing almost. And, you know, this is a, a, you know, a very cheap saw, uh, as in uh, how much it costs total. So obviously the customer did not want to pay $500 to get this done uh, and he he brought it to me he was like hey he's giving me my saw back 
and good thing he didn't because I mean a couple of rings uh, and he's gonna be good to go um, and that may be your problem if you you know if you take it somewhere and they tell you that uh, you're gonna need a new piston and cylinder take him just see if it it could be the rings uh, that was the case in this and he's I don't know if again you can see how nice this saw is it hasn't even been cleaned once I clean it, it might even be nicer but um, definitely worth uh, the $15 caliper rings, that's the made in, uh, camber rings, I guess, made in Italy, less than $15, so, uh, that's all it took, so next time you have low compression, uh, don't just automatically think it's, it's that, and again, check your spark plug, check your, de uh, decomp valve, uh, just take a look through the muffler, and next time you're at a yard sale, use your drop, uh, the drop test if it's going down for quick it's no good okay uh, so I decided to go ahead and do the second part of the video um, just to show show off the saw how clean it is but also to show that the compression didn't work and um, again this was just a cheap set of rings that we have and you might notice that it's got a different cap than in the other video that's because this cap keeps leaking and I tried another cap uh, I believe it's the tank vent that runs up here. I think I need to go ahead and get the other tank vent. It's about this big and has the little metal piece, but that's, that's uh, easy fixed. This is what we wanted to fix. That's good compression. It's an even stroke down all the way through. That's what you want to see when you go to a yard sale or something and you're buying a used saw. And this is a heavy saw for a the a little bit amount of cc's that it has i mean only 57 cc's and you can see it's just too heavy but you can see very nice as you can see got some uh exhaust part there and the reason I took you know i took this off just took this off that way you have the air come straight out instead of to the side uh, maybe i might put it back on but no that's going over there so the exhaust but that's what you wanted to see um, and then it's clean just too nice uh, to sit there and let uh, it be rotting away on a shelf somewhere uh, because somebody said it wasn't worth fixing uh, just some cheap rings so next time you have a saw and someone tells you that it's got bad compression don't give up on it yet it may just be something simple so uh, let's go ahead and start this guy up Just a working saw. Uh, haven't decided what I want to do with it yet. Um, the customer again did not want it. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> 